I know this level soundtrack uh, shares a uh, the same music with another with a later level. I wonder if they changed it up. Uh, somehow I doubt that, but we'll find out. Idle Springs. Yeah, very good there, buddy. Pyro, the idols we were carving have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food. They're alive. All right, so now we gotta take care of some idols. Because uh, in order to get everything in this level, it required the uh, swim underwater. Because you can swim underwater down there, but it's for an orb challenge, so I'm gonna have to come back to it. I wonder what I what the idol is that the game uh, skill point is referring to. Maybe on that one. Well, we're just gonna, gonna have to go along. Oh, and these this guy is gonna be tagging along with you, so he, that, that way he can open the doors. Oh, most, well, most of the uh, little guys anyway. But they're going to be, like, held captive by some of the other idols and all that whatnot. But anyway, after the, uh, I think mainly after, I don't know if it's after every single idol or after the big idols have been eliminated. Uh, they'll uh, try to go for the, they'll go for the door and uh, break the lock. Those metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. I mean, obviously. I've known that since the first game. <laughs> Boom! Magic butterfly and big idol. So now Spyro has over ten li uh, excuse me, over nine lives again. <laughs> and you thought only cats have nine lives. Wrong. Uh, I think I got them all down here. All right. Strange how you don't get any dialogue from these guys. Sucker. You know, I thought it would be funny if Spyro could actually pick up those little, uh, s you know, marshmallow sticks or hot dog sticks and just. I've been doing that. <laughs> I mean, just pick up those sticks uh, that the idols are carrying and just, just go to town with them. Or even pick up those shield and spears and just go to town with them. He'd be doing like a lot of, you know, martial, I mean, dragon martial arts. And, uh, of course, he'd get a free snack out of the deal. <laughs> okay, this is part of an orb challenge, but we'll come back to it. But anyway, here's the uh, end of the level right here. See the uh, drapery? Here's the end of the level. We've got a place for you here, but for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Alright, Idol Springs Talisman. And of course, we're not going to be leaving just yet. I mean, obviously. Okay, so you go down here. Gonna be a couple more treasure. Uh, it takes me back down there. Okay, gotta head back the other way. So 
So we gotta go over here. First, we gotta check the corners to make sure I get everything. Now we just gotta get on these platforms. I uh, wonder if I can get on here. Uh, nope. Looks like you can't get on that idol. I guess you have to get on the one, uh, you know, that was back at the end of, uh, excuse me, at the start of the level. Oh, okay, here's an orb opportunity. Now we've got enough of the uh, enemies defeated to activate the supercharge. So what we gotta do here is we gotta use the supercharge and get all those uh, uh, dancers off those uh, off those logs in a single go. It's fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. Alright. Difficulty 3, use the supercharged power-up, charge through the stone pedestals to free the hula girls. Alright, here we go. Gotta do it in a single go. There it is. ring dance blew up that idol like a roman candle now i can pursue that dancing career i've dreamed of take this orb it could help you go places truer words were never said yeah i wish they would do like that little uh like a coordinated uh dance move so that way they can that's when the lightning would strike because that that's how it did that in the original they did like a coordinated uh spin, and that's when the lightning struck the uh, idol. Which I thought was very, very good, uh, you know, just a nice touch to it. Alright. <laughs> of course, you can blame the hula girls. You can't blame that one. It's just a little comedy thing right there. Alright. So now you gotta get on back up here. Get all the treasure. As a matter of fact, I think I have to uh, go back to that place underwater because that's where we're supposed to activate the orb challenge. Okay, so there's more over here. Then even more down there. Uh, down that way. Alright, there's the rocket. Exactly what we need to uh, blow up the chest. Right behind that idol. Okay, gotta get the treasure this time. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Dive on down. Fishies. So if you go in there, that's where we uh, start the orb challenge. But I want to make sure I got all the treasure down here before doing so. Oh, I missed that bottle. How did I not charge the bottle? How? Ah, whatever. Okay. Make sure I got all the treasure down here. Uh, looks like I did. All right, let's head on up here. Ah, all 400 treasure, perfect. So yeah, this is where we start the orb challenge. Here we go. I've been locked in here with all our tools and the giant idol heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. All right, first puzzle. Three star difficulty, solve the three, three giant idol puzzles. To solve the first puzzle, turn all the blocks yellow. Ask Foreman Bud for extra help. All right, here we go. So what we gotta do is, uh, it always starts off in this pattern, same with the original. But if you step on a platform, 
it'll kind of change it up a bit like that. It kind of goes in a pattern. So you have to really... What I need to do is I need to get one of the sides completely empty. So that way, um, whenever I, I try to get the step on the last platform, a uh, set of platforms, I can try to... Uh, you know, there will be the last couple blocks that I can get to turn yellow. But if you get all these platforms yellow, they'll turn green. Okay, so all of them are down. I think I need to start right here. It kind of goes in a little pattern, so this may take a take a little bit. I think I do believe this is actually the most difficult of the puzzle. Uh, I need to try and get one side to where it's a, uh, you know, if I were to step on it. Uh, step on one side, it'll turn like one side of the blocks all yellow simultaneously. That's why I need to try and go for. Kind of like that. It's like I should save those for last. There we go. Wow, Spyro, you did it! Uh, I mean, uh, I know you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. All right, finally. Or you can, of course, you can utilize the corners. So all those uh, squares will, all those will turn green. So one down, two more to go. Here's our second one. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. All right, second challenge. Three star difficulty: flame fish to feed the idol. The idol is very picky. Only flame the blue and yellow fish. Don't flame any of the red fish. Because if, if you get a red fish into his mouth, he'll spit out some of the fish. So avoid the red ones. I'll just show it off. Like that. He spits out three fish. So avoid the reds. But at least you can actually see what fish is going to come out before, you know, it's a lot easier to tell what fish is going to come out. It's pretty tough to tell which one was going to come out in the original. So I have to really be patient. But here you can really get a good shot of what fish is going to come out. There it is. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. All right. Those colored stones with the... Uh, with all the colored shapes on them, that's where we have to go. There's the final puzzle. Ah, come on, get up there, Spyro. Alright. Here we are, right here. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Alright, three star difficulty. Jump on the stones in the correct order. The first one always starts off with that. Now, sometimes I tend to think on, uh, uh, since the star's been pressed down, the uh, shape of the uh, platform, uh, like the outer shape, is a square. I tend to think that the uh, you have to look for the square to step on the next one, but that is wrong. I mean, you'd think that's how it starts off, but... So, you just gotta keep on taking a couple tries just until I get it. Okay, there's that one. So, the boat stars, and I think after that, that's where you have to look for, like, say, the octagon. So, here's an octagon. Let's see if that's the next one. Uh, hold on. Maybe not that, but... I think the next one... Uh, I kind of forgot how it went, but I'm just going to have to keep going along. That was wrong. Let's stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's this one. Uh, I forgot what the trick was to this challenge. So, like I said, we'll just keep going along. Uh, 
Okay, so that's right. Uh, is this the next one? Yes, it is. All right. Then this. All right. So, do it in that order. And this is the last one. Boom! Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. There's the orb. So that should be all the orbs here in Idle Springs. Yes, it is. With that, the level's complete. The only thing left that I have to do is grab that skill point, which I assume it has to be on top of that idol. So I'll give it one more shot. And after, if I mess up this time, I'll skip it until I get it right. Because I know for a fact it looks like you can get on top of that. Well, I can't know until I actually do it. <laughs> I mean, it just, it just looks like you can get on there. You just gotta get very, very close to the edge before you try jumping it. After I fail this time, I'll skip it until I get it. I mean, like I said, I keep saying, it's it's got to be that one. It has to be. I wish there was like a whirlwind so you can get back on top of here without having to do all that platforming. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have to skip it. Oh, you know what? What about that idol that's over in the area where we use the supercharge? What about that idol? Let me see. Yeah, what about that one over there? I wonder if that's really the one. Cause I've been doing that. I've been doing that other idol for a couple of attempts now. I don't think you can even get over there. Let's try this one. Okay, it looks like you can get over this one. Let's see if this is it. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> well, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> How did I not think of that idol? Because I thought, you know, the more challenging one was going to be the, you know, the skill point one. Which was the one I've been trying to glide for in the past couple of attempts. But, nope, I guess not. You can't probably reach that one anyway. All right, we're done here. Finally. <laughs> Hey, it's okay, guys. He just wants to join in on the feast. <laughs> All together now. <laughs> Alright, but finally, we got that skill point. I honestly thought it was that idol that was, you know, that was over that uh, body of water. Because it looks like that was the most challenging one to go for. I mean, I thought that if you could actually make it to that top of that idol, that would be the skill point. But nope. Sometimes I wish they would, you know... Be a bit more descriptive with their skill points, but oh well. What can you do about it? He can't do anything. At, I mean, I can't do anything about it. But then again, so can everyone else that plays this game. Can't do anything about it. It is what it is. Alright, so not a bad start here. 